Good morning. We are about 12 months. Oh, 12 months. <laughs> we are about 12 weeks out from the Berlin Marathon. I have a little bit more time this morning to enjoy breakfast. And then I'm going to show you how I get ready for a 14 mile long run. Let's get started. Okay, let's check out today's outfit. We have our sweat wicking Brooklyn popular 13.1 New Balance short sleeves top. We have our five inch Lululemon shorts. These are great. Here are my socks. They are all polyester and they are high enough to prevent blisters. Ooh, look at that. We have a calf muscle popping out. Oops. Okay, let's check out the accessories. Right here is my Garmin 235 Forerunner. Love this watch, I've been having it for a few years. That is the heart rate monitor. I don't know why it's not popping up green, but it normally pops up in green light to indicate that it's measuring my heart rate. Very important for long runs. Don't forget to check your battery. Make sure that you're not anywhere below, I would say 60% to be on the safe side. Today we are at 75%, so we're good to go. Over here are Aftershocks headphones, perfect just so you can still hear people and cars around you as well as your music. If there's anything you can learn from me, it's by staying hydrated. Right here is my hydration backpack by Nathan. It's great, it keeps me hydrated my entire run and it's very comfortable to wear. Pop one of these bad boys into your bladder bag and stay perfectly hydrated and pumped up of electrolytes your entire run. You. These human energy gels are great. They're all natural. They digest quickly into your system and it replenishes you with enough carbs and sugars to get you through the next 30 minutes of your intense long run activity. Literally just made it to the ferry with seconds to spare. workout we're doing 14 mile long run and we're doing the first 12 miles pretty slow and easy and then the final two miles we're going to go at marathon goal pace I will check back in with you when I'm done sometimes you just gotta take a little break from the workout and can't do it 12.6 uh, miles in um, all right all right, confession time. Let's talk about yesterday's long run. Moral of the story is you're always going to come into bumps in the road. There's always going to be times where you're not going to be able to complete your workout as prescribed, but what you need to keep doing is showing up. If you keep showing up and you keep trying and you give it your best every single day, you will be successful and you will be able to run a marathon. When it comes to marathon training, it is the majority wins. So if you are just completing most of your marathon workouts to how it's prescribed, then you're definitely going to complete your marathon at a time that you would be really proud of yourself for achieving. And in order to be successful during marathon training, hello, you need to sleep well, you need to eat properly, you need to get plenty of hydration, and you really have to just stay disciplined and focused because there will be days that you just don't want to do it. And I promise you when it comes to marathon day, 
if you look back on your training and you have any regrets because of runs you just didn't feel like doing in the present moment, you are going to regret it. Marathon Day is very special. It's a celebration of you. It's a celebration of your hard work. So make sure that you put in the work, you dedicate the time, you know, these 16 weeks that you train or these 12 weeks that you train for a marathon, these weeks are for you and you have to be a selfish priority first. If you make yourself a selfish priority, you hit all of your runs, you sleep well, you eat well, you're hydrated, you're going to thank yourself so much that you just stay through the rigorous training course and you'll be able to just celebrate you for that day or that week. So I'm excited to share my journey with you and I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope that this video was helpful for those of you who are attempting to do a long run or who are thinking about doing a long run or maybe you have your first long run coming up and you just don't know what to expect. I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.